Okay, first of all, love you guys on the show. It's an excellent show. I'm loving it. But uh, I'm kind of wondering if any of you guys are looking to create um, second, third seasons and continuing the series after the first. The boss man down here. Yeah. Do, um, do you want to take that? Uh, what I can say right now is that we are thrilled with the performance of the show so far. Um, is that a yes or a no? <laughs> it's, it's Seriously. A, it's a... Uh, Artfully crafted by my PR department, Dodge. <laughs> so, so I, 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 you know, I, we're we're not prepared right at the moment. Was that a nod? That was a nod. <laughs> it, it's it's a uh, it's a Dodge at this moment. But we we, no, we love this. It's it's not, this is you know I, I uh, in addition to scripted projects, you know, I'm across all of our reality shows and the whole you know all of the content of the network, and this is by far my favorite project. So, so what Jerk is saying is watch it, tell your friends to watch it, tweet about it, Facebook it, Instagram it, whatever you need to do. So let everyone know how much you love the show. Thank you so much. Next question. Um, this is actually for Travis, Catherine, and George. Uh, you guys end up speaking kind of different languages throughout the show in order to like show the language barrier that exists. I'm wondering what languages you speak and like how you prepared to like learn the parts that you need to learn. I'm gonna have just one person answer that. So George, <laughs> do you want to take that one? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, sorry, what's your name? Nice to meet you, Margaret. Um, yeah. So. Uh, there's lots of different languages spoken. Um, uh, there's Old Norse that's spoken that the Vikings speak, and there's Anglo-Saxon. And there's a great scene that you've seen at the end of three, right, or four, the start of, end of four maybe. No, three. Where the you've um, seen the show, George. I don't know. <laughs> I'm back in We can get you DVDs. Thanks. <laughs> <that's great. laughs> no, but when the when the Vikings go back for a second time to uh, to England. Um, they, uh, they meet this Anglo-Saxon force on the beach and there's this brilliant scene where the Vikings are speaking in Old Norse and the Anglo-Saxons are speaking in ancient Anglo-Saxon. And uh, it's just really clever because you, you get the whole, that, that's exactly what would have happened when people 1200 years ago were traveling across the world and meeting new races of people. There'd be this massive language barrier and I, I just think it's a really cool scene that you get to see and, and it really is ancient language that we had this amazing story with Justin on, on the uh, on the show, and um, you know we can email him and ask him questions Great. about anything historical, and he'll give us the answer. And it's the real ancient languages that we can. Thank so you. Good. Next question. Hi, I love the show. My husband John got me into it. My question is for Catherine Ragnar's brother appears to have an interest in you. Um, <laughs> does she return any of his feelings? And or can we expect to see something develop there, maybe some conflict between Ragnar and his brother? <laughs> um, great question. Uh, you know, I think What's great about Michael, how he writes it, is so much is unsaid. And even as actors, you don't really know everything. You kind of make up choices as you read the script. There's definitely has been some sort of lust on one side of the part between like <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, but that was like I will never cheat. Ragnar. She's <laughs> madly in love with him and they're true equals and partners and it's love at first sight for them.